happy Friday to you and welcome to the world-renowned Friday Funnies. So far, you know, July has started off with a bang. Big bang on the 4th, you know, we had neighborhood fireworks displays followed by those damn kids on the next block shooting off their rockets and firecrackers and something that sounded like a cannon. Meanwhile, in Pamplona, Spain, they have begun the festival featuring the running of the bulls. This is where stupid people try to outrun beasts with horns, and, and they don't even win a prize. Over here, over here, the political contest features the running of the bull shit, where stupid people run for president, and we all wind up getting gored. And, of course, this week featured the annual Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest, where Joey Chestnut regained his title by gulping down 70 hot dogs in 10 minutes. And on Sunday, in Buffalo, New York, they're hosting the world's first kale eating contest. Contestants will vie to see who can eat the most kale. Joey Chestnut said he'll compete, but only if he can wrap the kale around a hot dog. And now it's time to wrap our minds around the rest of the idiots that comprise this week's Friday Funnies. While competitive eaters compete to see who can eat the most food, at least they keep it civil. In Gastonia, North Carolina, Brad Beard and Samantha Knipe were celebrating the 4th of July with a big bowl of pizza rolls. That's American. And anyhow, while they were noshing, an argument broke out, and then the argument escalated to a fight, and before you knew it, Brad and Samantha were hurling pizza rolls at each other. Now, I don't know how many pizza rolls were thrown or if any of them left a mark, but it must have been rather noisy because somebody called the police. And when the police showed up, both pizza roll pugilists were charged with assault and could face jail time. The police also collected the remaining pizza rolls as evidence. <laughs> Police in Gates, New York, faced a melee at the local Walmart store. Apparently, two 17-year-old girls were making fun of a 24-year-old woman's clothing. Imagine that in a Walmart. Anyhow, the older woman took offense, and soon there was swearing and slugging, and both families got involved. People were grabbing stuff off the shelf to use as weapons. A couple of people went to the sporting goods department to pick up baseball bats. One woman was accused of hitting a 57-year-old man in the head with canned goods. Arrests were made, and outstanding warrants were discovered. But at the very least, we can be thankful no pizza rolls were injured. This last story comes to us from Humpty Doo, Australia. That's a real town in the Northern Territories, Humpty Doo. I wonder what they call their newspaper, you know? Is it the Humpty Doo Daily, or the Humpty Doings, or perhaps the Humpty Doo Didgeries? I wonder about things like that. Anyhow, in Humpty Doo, a father was upset and he was angry with his son for growing his prized marijuana plants. And to make his point, Dad made a bonfire and burned every single plant. When his son discovered this, he did what any sensible stoner would do. He, he called the police to report arson. When the police arrived, the son told them that his dad burned all of his pot, and they saw the smoldering remains, but they couldn't arrest anybody because there was no longer any evidence. But they did thank the son for the tip and said they'd visit him again as soon as he gets back in business. Well, that's it for another week, my friends. I gotta go check on the pizza rolls right now, but I will see you again next Friday. <laughs>